It's underneath here. Well, it sounded like it was underneath here. Let's go flip another hundred logs. We are in search of the marbled salamander here in Florida. The goal is to find a female with her eggs. So I just lifted this log right here. And as you can see, I don't see any eggs. So this one might be a male. But there we go. Got a marble salamander. Wow, look at that. Look how gorgeous things, these things are. Gorgeous is right. And the males are more striking with their more contrasty look. I'll show you a comparison later. So the reason why I know it's a male, if, he, if I turn it, gently turn it over. Yeah, as you can see, he has his two sacks right there that are full of the things that make bebes. So this is a male. Look how pretty they are. All right, so this one I'm gonna let back go, this male. I'm gonna put it right back in this hole. Right where it came from. That way, that way I can get a female. See you later. You know what, let's, let's talk about where the marbled salamanders live for most of the year. And it's right here in the bottomlands area. And this type of habitat, they are here for most of the year. And we're now gonna bulldoze through it to get to another floodplain down that way. Marbled salamanders live beneath the surface for most of the year, until October and November. On rainy nights, the adults make their way down to dry ponds. This is where they meet up and do their business. The females lay their eggs in the dry ponds or close to it. The males, however, typically arrive first. Luckily, it's, it's already been a little cold, so I'm not worried about I'm not worried about wasps. Oh, All right, got a little baby water snake here. Show sure you the habitat this is in. So, yeah. Gently go ahead and put it back like that. And it's good. As we're looking for suitable habitat in the river bottoms, Abby and I come across an area with exposed limestone. Huh. I think we can go down there. Nice little cave. Make sure there's nothing down here. Find the cool stuff. Oh, look, there is some water down here. Take a look at it. And yeah, this definitely connects to our aquifer. This is a, a central newt. We just flipped this log. You know what? I'm guessing that one might be a female. Let's lift you up. So we got our first female. Yeah, we can definitely tell that that's a female. She is loaded with eggs. Ooh, here we go. Got another. We got a female, it looks like. It's a male, it's not a female. Cool. We are finding a bunch of males, which is good. Let's get a picture of it. Here's a comparison between the male and female. Female on the left, male on the right. As you can see, the female's rings and bands are more silvery, while the males are more contrasty with a black and white look.
Ooh, that one right here. This thing is like, you can barely see it. It is in there. I just wanna gently poke it out. Come on, buddy. He's like, don't touch me. That is a male. You know what? I'm just gonna kind of let it get back in there. No, buddy, get back in your cave. All right, so it's going back in there, so it's good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back down. It's in a good spot. Okay. You probably don't know it, but this is another day. We have been out here for three weeks trying to find a female on her eggs. And this is the last day I have to look for it. So let's, let's cross our fingers and see if we can find a female on her eggs. Ooh. That's a big log. Okay. There's one right here. That looks like a male, but there's definitely eggs there. Okay, come over here. Actually, I don't think those are eggs. Those are definitely not eggs. This is just, this is just poop from a beetle or a centipede. There's a bunch of it there. Pause. You have to bear with me because I'm insanely dyslexic. When I said centipede poop, I actually meant millipede poop. But yeah, that's a, that is another male. Look how gorgeous this one is. All right, there she is. And there's her eggs. Fantastic. Okay, we made it happen. We found a female on her eggs. And I almost didn't think it was gonna happen because it's been so dry out here. We had a little bit of rain earlier this week. It came in heavy, but it blasted through here. So it wasn't that much water. But I am so excited we were able to find a female marble and there's her eggs. Her eggs are right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put her back. But before I do that, what's gonna happen here is when the rains do come, and that's if they do, because they might not. But what happens is this area will fill up with water and where these eggs are at, within a few hours, they're gonna hatch. And then you have the salamander in its larva form and they're gonna be in this pond surviving off of zooplankton. I'm gonna put her back and uh, she can go on living a life and hopefully, hopefully the rains come and these babies hatch. That's it.